Hi, this is Vicar Lily Brown Finn from Faith Evangelical Lutheran Church, Walworth, Wisconsin. We were not together for this beginning of Holy Week, this Palm Sunday, and it feels strange. Instead of using palm branches and waving them in joy, saying Hosanna in the highest to our Jesus who is entering Jerusalem. I, for example, was with my family gathering up branches in a different way. We were preparing the ground to eventually mow for spring. We were raking leaves and getting these branches out of the way for the mower. And that was Palm Sunday for me. I was gathered with family, yes, but I wasn't with my faith community, which felt strange. And as we enter this week, as we enter this journey to the cross, it feels strange to not be together. But I hope and pray that we can find community in other ways, especially this week. So as we, we enter Palm Sunday into Holy Week, we hear scripture from Matthew 21. Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey and on a colt and a fowl of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the ground, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the ground. The crowds had went ahead of him and followed them shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. We, we are still together in this holy season, and we are traveling to the cross together. And an idea that I was thinking that we could do is though we might be at our homes or still in our workplaces, let's travel and let's pray. Let's pray throughout the week. So I'm going to have a series this week. I'll have a video each day and I am going to be traveling to a different location and we are going to pray over that location and the people that are present there or connected with those type things. The first stop is we are heading to the two hospitals that are nearest to me. So I invite you to live this week through prayer. As we travel these, these different journeys, this journey of faith, we can plan things out and we can think that it's going to go as planned. But look at us. We are not as planned for this Easter season, but we can still be together. Our first step on this journey of prayer throughout Holy Week is the hospital closest to my house, Aurora Lakeland Medical Center. Here, they are actively preparing for the uncertainty that is before us, preparing more space for different things that will come. Along with the COVID-19 pandemic, we also have many people that are continuing to get cancer diagnoses, as well as other, other heart attacks or strokes. Things are still happening. Life does not stop. And we pray for all of the healthcare providers here, the nurses, the surgeons, the doctors, any staff that still has to work and return home to their um, families and just worrying about bringing things back, Lord, we pray for all of these people. Our second stop on the journey, we pray for Mercy Walworth and all of the healthcare providers around the world. Please give them good health and guidance and wisdom to make the best healthcare decisions. And Lord, we continue to praise you with our palm branches, with our branches of all kinds, because we know that the ultimate healing comes from you. Lord, show your presence now more than ever, as many of the patients here and elsewhere will not have their beloveds by their bedsides. Lord, we need you. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer.